Hi guys, welcome to this week's video. This week we're here with Mel and Michael and we're going to show you their setup with their patrol and their camper. So this is our 2010 Nissan Patrol GU wagon, 3 litre. We bought it in September 2016. We've upgraded from my Nissan X-Trail because um, we wanted to go, go bush a bit more because the X-Trail couldn't take us places where we could go in a patrol. We then in March 2017 bought a camper trailer to put behind it. <laughs> um, we have quite a few various setups we do with our patrol um, for overnights. We just take a double swag with our awnings that we've added to the patrol. For longer than one night we take the camper trailer. When we bought the patrol um, we were actually lucky it came with a lot of mods already done to it, we just sort of tweaked it a little bit. The light bar was mounted on top, um, but we put it to the front to be New South Wales regulation. We added the nine inch bodies because it didn't come with it. Um, they're super bright <laughs> in the combination. Um, it came with one UHF and one aerial, but we've added a second UHF and a second aerial um, just so we can use for convoy um, and still listen to um, highway channels at the same time. It came with the air compressor on the front. It already had a dual battery system in it. We've just put a control panel in the back so we can run a fridge. Steel cable went, we pulled it out once just to check how it was. We're lucky enough we haven't had to use it. <laughs> had roof racks on it when we bought it. Took them off to put the basket on. We put a single drawer in the rear that you'll see later on with a um, tilt slide, fridge slide, uh, run about a 60 litre King's fridge which is pretty similar to the Waco ones, runs the same compressor as the Waco's. We run King's, pretty much King's seat covers and they're pretty good. Beach driving or if it's been raining or you're issue in the mud they're a bit like a um, wetsuit. So neoprene. Doesn't, neoprene doesn't soak into your seat or anything like that. Deep dish mats. We did have four Mickey Thompson tyres on it. Which slowly changing over changing to open country. Changing over to Toyota open country, all trains, just to get a better wear. Suits our needs um, more, we don't go off-road a heck of a lot. So just trying to change to see what works and what doesn't work for us, what might work for us, might not work for you guys. It's just up to your personal preferences and what you find to work for you. We have airbag man airbags in the rear for suspension and I find I've never been great with towing but I find it's really easy um, and the, it rides a lot smoother with having the airbag suspension but I do find that of a cold morning in winter they um, you always have to check the control panel of the level of the airbags because they do sort of deflate in the cold weather but you just pump them back up again which is um, Need about having the board built in the air compressor. Yeah, which just refills from the air compressor. They are good, especially if you got like um, if it's not a camper trailer, you've got a car trailer on the rear, and you've got you can a adjust heavy the load, height. you can adjust your yeah, load height a lot better than if you had coils or leaf or anything like that. You can adjust your ride height, get your ride height right. Mm. Yeah, level for your fuel and and even right now as it's parked we've just lowered the rear airbag so we can get to the fridge better because we're on an angle and it's ha handy with your trailer as well especially when you're depending on where you're parking in the hollow or up a bit of a hill to try and get the jockey wheel down you can just lower. lower it or raise it to try and get the jockey wheel down or up the dual battery was in it when we bought it um yeah it's a plug for when we towing let your brakes all come with it when we board it. So on the driver side we've got the start battery where everything comes off the dual battery with the oscillator on this side. All the fuses and all that for the light bar and driving lights also come off in there. It's all tidied up with that. All tidy up light. in here. And we've got the auxiliary battery over on the passenger side near the um, overflow for the radiator. Control panel that we're saying that we installed. It's got the volt voltmeter for the second battery. It's got two cigarette plugs. And then we've got the bottom. Always have the bottom one in for the fridge. We've got a second one there. A couple of USBs. 
That switch there is for two square lights, so we might show you once it gets a little bit darker with a couple of other lights that we've got in here. As we we're saying, we've got one draw that we find that's quite adequate for what we need. Tilt fridge slide, we're still trying to work it out to run the fridge cable whereabouts, how to secure that to, for it to tilt, slide out and tilt. Um, quite easy to use. Things, six layer fridge, quite ample enough for uh, overnighters or week stays. We do have another fridge slide in the camper trailer that we use for mainly drinks. When we do longer stays, first aid stuff is back here for when we need, if we need it. Um, we've got light strips that we'll show you later on when it gets a bit dark, how much easier it is for camping out either overnight. Chris um, had a video before of the panel in the front, which was uh, for the airbags and the compression the pressure of the air tank for the air compressor, it's like where the navigator usually sits in the front there. Um, and we got the only thing we'll probably do other than what we've already got done is probably put a roof console in for the UHF so we can sort of tidy it up a little bit, make it a bit neater in there for all them. Um, another feature is just have the stock standard snorkel, we haven't upgraded that. Um, it's got a 3x3 three three awning off the side here with a, I think it's a 2x1.4 rear awning um, and a full length roof cage. And we've also got clearance lights for at night time. Yeah. We've got the Anderson plug at the back as we were saying before for the camper trailer. Two plugs here, the flat pin, 7 pin, wide one for caravanas and all that. It also works with your stock standard trailers and I think it's a seven pin round, which is all wired up together. Off-road hitch for our camper trailer, but you can still um, take it off and use a normal ball on it. Um, we do have two tanks in this, a main and a sub. I think that's uh, about 80 litre main and a 40 litre sub, I think it is from memory, which works out roughly that you can get about a thousand k's, a bit over a thousand k's out of the two. When we upgraded to the patrol, we, um, we were still camping in tents and stretchers and sleeping bags and thought, well, we've got a bigger vehicle now, we may as well upgrade our camping setup. So we started looking at camper trailers, but my condition was I didn't want to climb a ladder to go to bed. <laughs> so this is what we came up with, and we found a whole heap of different camper trailers so we decided to go to the Gold Coast camping show March 2017 um, and we looked at MDC, Black Series, Cub Campers and found that the Stony Creek walkthrough was the best for us and our lifestyle, what we want to do in the future and yeah all around. This is our kitchen, it's got loads of accessories and different lights there's a light strip lighting up the back of the kitchen here at the moment. We've got stainless steel kitchen, which we didn't find any stainless steel kitchens with any other camper trailers, so we're pretty impressed with this. It's got the windbreaker, four, four burner gas stove, 12 volt sink, so the medic sink. I like not having to pump water. <laughs> They do give you a um, hot water setup. They can still run off your 12 volt setup. We didn't. We didn't setup, go for that we option. We didn't go for that option, but you do. You can get that option through these guys. This is our favourite storage drawer. Um, we call it the morgue drawer because you can hide a body in it. <laughs> it's that big. Um, it just carries all all kinds of kitchen and camping stuff. We've weighted it so that the heaviest stuff falls it. Um, the middle of the camper trailer over the axle. We just made our camp ovens or our cast iron stuff. Stuff that you don't use very often. Um, we've got cutlery and utensil drawers. Plates and bowls and cups drawer. Our pantry. A bit of food already packed. 
We normally have a fridge here. We didn't bring it this time because we're only here overnight, but we normally have a second fridge. Um, yeah, a bench fridge. <laughs> our food fridge. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we just use it for storage this camp. <laughs> This bench slides back in too, so every inch of this trailer has been thought about in terms of utilising all the available space um, and everything's enclosed. The way it utilises all the space we're all pretty happy with compared to other camper trailers. We normally have an awning over this area, it just zips up, zips up and velcros on with a frame. But, um, you can enclose with walls and a floor as well, so all of this area just doubles the size of the camper trailer, which we've had about three people sleep in before. So a bonus about this camper trailer, it's got an off-road hitch, which Stony Creek actually supplied the connection for our car as well. It's got handbrake, it's got a second 12 volt pump here, um, which is connected to the second tank. <laughs> it came with a stone guard, which a lot of camper trailers don't. Um, it came standard with mug flaps. We normally mount our shower on this post here that we added and set up our tent here. It's got a big storage box out the front which we put heaps of gear in. At the moment we're running a 120 watt solar panel blanket to feed into the two batteries inside. There's two extra jerry can holders which you can, it, it came with two um, 20 litre water drums you can fill for extra water on top of the two tanks that are already underneath. <laughs> yeah, you have the ability of about 240 or 280 litres of water yep. that you can carry. We've never run out and our biggest camp's been 11 days in a row so we're pretty lucky. Off the grid. Off the grid. Um, something that came supplied with our camper trailer uh, was the um, boat rack that sits over the top. We use it to carry our kayaks on. Um, the good thing about it being so big is that we can put anything on top of it. It's a flat surface like um, the top of a trailer would be. The way we lift the boat rack is with the gas struts that are supplied. It's not yeah. that hard if you've got stuff on. Yeah, if it's loaded then it's then the gas struts um, make it very easy to make lift. Make it easier to lift up and stand up if you're running for an overnight if you're traveling somewhere. And you need to lift it up with the kayak still attached. Kayak or your small boat. Um, so this is one of the main rooms of the camper trailer. It's I'm pretty sure it's three meters by three meters. We use it for all sorts of things. It's supposed to be where the dog sleeps, but she sleeps on our bed. As you can see, it's very tall, which was a bonus um, after being in tents for many years and not being able to get dressed properly. Um, this is we use it as like a media room as well. We set up a TV on the table sometimes, watch DVDs. It's also got a tropical roof that you can probably see from one of the earlier videos that helps with temperature control. Keeps the rain um, off the tent as well. We don't have any condensation when it's humid or hot or cold. Um, try and keep when it's cold. Try it keeps the warmth in when it's hot. Try and keep the heat out. And so, the tropical roof came with it, and it wasn't an extra like a lot of other kids. The standard power source, like there is optional extra that you can get 240 for it, but we're just running the 12 volt 12 volt setup, which is with two 100 amp hour deep cycle batteries, which we charge with solar, which with we solar. we don't go. Um, powered camping sites very often at all so being unpowered being able to generate our own power and have our own electricity is a plus for us. Um, Stony Creek also included this table which folds down very easily oh wow um, and it just slides up over where the walkway is um, at the end of the bed um, Stony Creek also included the capability of being able to open up from the inside. So you got all your 12 volt storage, part of storage. That's easy access. You can put all your stuff that you're going to access mainly Pizza on pieces. this side. Games, um, extra lights. The best part about the camper trailer for me was the two stairs up here. Um, it ends up at the end of the bed, so you just 
crawl up the end of the bed. You're not climbing a ladder to go to bed. <laughs> um, and there's loads of storage up here as well. We always put our gear bags up here. I've got two big drawers at the end of the bed. Uh, one there, one there, and two behind me. We have a light that lights up the stairwell. We have two USB connections and a 12 volt at the end of the bed as well. Another set selling point of the camper trailer for us was that it was a king size bed. It's a king size in the spring mattress. Um, we did add an egg shore topper and a, a mattress topper to that, which makes it super comfy. <laughs> Um, when the tent's all zipped up, because it's such a thick 14 ounce canvas, it's like night time in the middle of the day. With um, midgy mesh is also another bonus for it as well. It's completely enclosed from the outside, yet you can still access everything from the outside. Um, so this whole kitchen setup we can access if we just pull up on the side of the road, if we want to just make some lunch. It all just comes out the back. You can access everything without having to open up the whole camper trailer. Lift the bed up to access or underneath it. It's all in the drawers. Everything's either pull out or open a the door. There's two four and a half kilo gas bottles for the kitchen and that. They were included full of gas when we bought it. The after sale support with Stony Creek has been fantastic too. We just um, um, Richard Richard the salesman that we bought it off, he was a huge help. He told us all the pros and cons of it, and there was more, way more pros than cons. There was no, with him, there was no bullshit. He didn't hide anything. He told us straight out that the bed was shit. Um, yes, it is a king size in a spring mattress, but it's hard as concrete. And the first thing we did was put an eggshell topper with the mattress topper on top, and it solved all those problems. <laughs> which is what, is, which is what he, he told did. us. He told us best. straight out it was shit. <laughs> Jane didn't do this. And you'd be right, and that's what we did, and it was, it was, right. spot, it was spot on the money. <laughs> you got a king size, yeah. and a lot, a lot of sales. We don't even have a king size bed at all. <laughs> bullshit and trying to get your sale or whatever, but, but he, he straight genuine, out and genuine, which sort of ultimately made our decision. Yeah. Mm. So I have done loads of different types of camping. I was in Scouts for 12 years. I've done light camping hikes. I've done 150 k's in three days in the Blue Mountains three years in a row with Ventures. Um, I'm not that fit now, <laughs> but I have done it and I've done heavy camping with tents and stretchers and sleeping bags. And then when I met Michael eight years ago, he introduced me to swag camping. I've never camped in a swag before and he hadn't done the camping I'd done in the past. So we sort of just combined everything. So now we've got loads of different ways to camp. We um, we set the patrol up so we can just pull the awning out and camp in a double swag if we need to. We have a camper trailer and we still have our tent and camping gear as well if we need that. This, this is our puppy dog Chevy. She's three years old, she's a red heeler and she goes everywhere with us. <laughs> We're lucky we found a lo loads of dog friendly campsites in the past. There are some places that we can't take her unfortunately but She's a really good camper, she doesn't stray very far and as soon as the sun goes down she goes to bed. <laughs> so we don't have to worry about her wandering at night either. So thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>